We're playing drawception. Let's draw. Play a game. We'll find something that strikes some sort of idea in our mind. Well, this is quite a nice prompt, isn't it? A nice, straightforward prompt. We're going to do a sunset on the sea. We're going to start with a red background. You know, this seems a lot like stuff we've done before, so maybe we should shake it up. Maybe we'll start with a purple background and we'll have a few more gradations of the sunset or even a dark blue. Then we'll transition into a purple. Maybe not going quite that high. And th this is where our purple layer will be. Then we'll have red classic. Oh, wow. We could even do a pink. We're just going to go crazy here. Let's see what happens. You know, sometimes our drawception isn't about what's tried and true. Sometimes it's about using your creativity and your imagination, seeing what result you get. All right, then we'll go into red. Provide enough that we can then go into orange. And then we can do a sun. Maybe we'll have the sun overlap the red a bit. There we go. And then we're going to go in and blend all of these together. So I'll start with a, you know what, I'm interested in starting with this size 2 pencil. Blending with these nice long strokes, rather than relatively short ones. This is slightly different to what I did last time, we had a sunset beach scene. Looking at it, I reckon we want to go down back to that size 1 pencil or brush. And we're going to still do these longer strokes, but now there's just a bit more texture there. Beautiful. We'll go back to the purple and blend it in. Maybe you can hear a camera shutter in the background. I'm doing a bit of time-lapse photography. All right. Very nice. Now, we'll blend the purple and the pink. We'll start with the purple since we have it already. And we'll just go through with those long strokes. Then with the pink, supplement that. I quite like this pink. I think I want to use this more often in sunset pictures. Not sure about the purple at this point. Uh, that said, we'll go to the purple so we can blend everything nicely. Pink really is working for me. Really has that quality of a beautiful sunset. Just clouds illuminated by the sun, coloured by the dust in the air, or what have you. And we'll blend the pink with the red. Once again, I'm going to try and do these long strokes. I'll need to restart that. That's okay. Take your time when you play Drawception. Get what's in your mind onto the canvas. But, of course, you are under a time limit, so don't take too much time. Sunset, of course, and this is half the prompt, so we do need to make sure we get that right. Now, I won't mind if I go over the sun in blending the orange and the red. Because we can just go over that again. That one we've got there is just a guide for us. Once again, these long strokes. It is, uh, there is a natural stroke size when you're using a mouse, as I am. Now I think we need to supplement that with a bit more orange. That's kind of cool. And now I'm thinking that we'll go... B Actually, you know what? We might just take this further down so we have a bit more room to play around with down there. Might not use it, but it's worth having. Now we'll go over 
this sun outline. And we don't need to be precise because we'll be blending that in. So now let's go in nice and close and start to blend inwards around the sun. Yeah, this doesn't have to be specific. We'll probably blend a bit of red and orange up here. That'll sort of contour the blending around those two colors. And then that yellow all around. Make sure, making sure we're going in to the very center. You can get some really nice looking results with this, with this technique, even with a mouse. And I quite like how this is looking with the orange. Might finish it up here with some red, but I don't think we want to go over the yellow again, even though it's really quite broken up. I'm really liking how that's looking. Maybe a bit more orange. Blend the orange with the red a little more. Oh, yeah, I like that a lot. And now what I think we want to do is have the ocean. Show a bit of the ocean there. Maybe it's... This, this blue is so light, so I think I'm going to go for a black ocean. And that's not really the natural colour of the ocean think it'll be nice to have something that where the reflections of the sky will really stand out. So with this fine brush then, I'm going to start doing these beautiful reflections of the sky. We won't get very far. That's just the way it is. It's not a bad thing. I think we'll want to just use a bit of that pink down the bottom here. And then we'll want to kind of, I suppose, blend between those, just so these squiggles, as it were, overlap. Do you see? That makes it look like one sort of cohesive unit. Some a bit more red here. Then what I'm going to do is rather than reflect the shape in the sun, I just want to have this wave, wavy reflection to reflect the waves that would be in the sea. Check that out. It's really quite nice. This we're not going to blend because that's really quite distinctive. Now I'm going to see what happens if we just highlight that in our last minute with a bit of a with a bit of white, just some glistening off the water. I really quite like that. That's quite nice. And it's a good idea to let that white overlap the edges of our yellow. It looks a bit more natural that way. All right, nice. And in the last little while, I'm thinking we might have some clouds. Just one little bit of cloud here. Clouds going to go, go from there, silhouetted by the sun. Then around here, it'll be a bit red. Then around here, maybe it'll go a bit pink. Then maybe it turns that purple around here. Then the blue. And then we're just going to use this gray 
to show that as one cohesive bit of cloud, letting it overlap with the edges of the cloud we've established. It's not bad. It's quite nice. There is 10 minutes done. Oops, wrong way. We'll submit it. And there you have it, sunset on the sea. The horizon's quite low down in this, so one major change I'd make to this picture is to maybe lift that horizon up to the lower third. Um, other than that, I think when I do sunsets right now, I think the blue works, I think the pink works, I think the red and the yellow and the orange are all good. Maybe next time I'll lose the purple, which isn't quite as vibrant as the other colours. And I think uh, that's what I'm going to take away from this. It was definitely a fun little drawing to make. Well, thank you for coming with me on this adventure. And I'll see you next time. God bless.